Okay, this is the first episode of Ghetto Gourmet. Now, I looked in the refrigerator. All we had was some old stuff here and some old stuff there. And a whole bunch of hamburger patties. So we broke the hamburger patties down to regular ground beef. What I'm going to make is no ghetto thing called spaghetto. Some wee leftovers in there for the next video. So spaghetto is pretty much ground beef, ramen noodle, spaghetti sauce. But you have to also understand different intangibles when you make spaghetto. I understand. You gotta start with the best ground beef. Like I said, if you look at the refrigerator, all we can find is hamburger patties. Break them down. Put them on the stove. Cook it slowly. You see the flames have been turned back. Go over and get some water. Ghetto dishes in the sink. That's enough water. To the eye. Cover up the ground beef, which is not cooked all the way. Small eye. Always put it on high. Can get your noodles here. Open them up. Of course, you gotta open them all up. Can't just get a hot sauce in the muscle in the mouth. Flavor and all. Not. So, I figured. Flavor and all. Not. go down then I'll show you why I put everything together but let's get some more things that we're gonna add Prego he's right here Prego has a lot of stuff in Prego is actually great let's see folks think I'm super duper good on got a couple pieces here let's see what is this craft American thing just one piece of craft Here, you get your see that Christopher Christopher Ranch garlic right there next to the Prego. If you're super ghetto, you go to McDonald's and get these packets of hot picante sauce, but we won't be using that in this video. Well, the thing I'm gonna grab for the half percent of this video. Oop. Not the mild cheddar, but the Johnson's Bratwurst. I'm only gonna use one of those. Looking pretty good. They're still in square form. That's how you want them. But, since this is live TV, Throw that water out of there. Put it on the back eye, which is bigger. Put it on high. Turn that off. And that is off still. The ground beef is halfway cooked. That's off. That's what I'm doing here. Let's see. Yeah, you know, we're looking for some kind of vegetable or whatever we can put in here. An onion or a. Wait a minute. Garlic or vegetable? That's fresh garlic. Go with a lemon? No. 
Oh, I prefer an onion, but I have no onion. There's a bell pepper. No. Oh. Go with an onion. Let me pause this one. It's part one. Spaghetto. As you see. Ground beef. Cheap ass ramen noodles. Flavoring and all. Rot words. Only use one. Lasagna noodles, we're not using. Prego, a lot of people are ghetto and don't even have Prego, so you just go ahead and use tomato paste or be picante sauce from McDonald's mixed with some uh, like this. But you can also do spaghetti with the paste picante sauce. Get the paste picante sauce. Four teaspoons of barbecue sauce, three teaspoons of ketchup, oh, oh, well. I'm supposed to use canned tomato paste, see? Olives, optional, optional. Those are always good. Spaghetti. Do, 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 do. Spaghetti. Do, 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 do. Noodles are going pretty good. Spaghetti is coming on pretty fine here. So that's going to break these noodles down. I don't know will tell you what the fuck to do. You know? Down, see the noodles breaking down. This right here should feed four people. You got a bunch of greedy ass people with you. See how that looks. And that is half done. See, since we use the hamburger patties, all the juice is pretty much not that much grease. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and turn that back on. No! I put that on high, didn't I? Because this is ghetto. I want to spice it up and change things up a little bit. Go ahead and take one of the packages. Put it right in there. Now it's just a shrimp and beef. Ooh, that sounds nasty. Yeah, that's shrimp. Shrimp seasoning. Shrimp. In a sense, we only have shrimp and chicken. I'm only going to use the one shrimp. Not the shrimp and chicken. On the beef. Spaghetti. There. And when you're trying this at home, you know, a lot of people, some people go with a jalapeno and a spaghetti. Oh, how pain is that together? Back to the refrigerator. Now, I couldn't find what I wanted to do. So, now, go ahead and open my garlic. Try to do everything with one hand. Garlic. Back to the ground beef. The beef is cooking up pretty good. Now, here's the kicker. Noodles are all done. The skillet, the noodles, all right. Noodles, skillet, rice cooker. Noodles, skillet, rice Hey, Chad, I need your help, please, sir. Do me a spoon, you know, one of these spoons, but teaspoon? yeah, full of the garlic, please. Right. Half a teaspoon full of garlic, please.
cooking up the spaghetto. The one with four noodles. I'll go three because they cook a little faster. Throw an extra one in there. When we're not on camera, I'll just add it later. This should be enough here. Onion, onion would have changed a whole bunch of different. Onion would have made a big difference. Onion would have been taking it over the levels of greatness. This is the fucking bomb. Spaghetti. Thanks for the garlic. No teaspoon, do it, eyeball it. Just stick it in here so I can do this real quick. Come on, put the spoon in here quick. I'm wasting valuable video time with the water boiling over there. Get the big one right there, the big black one there, sir. And dip it in there, just get the end of it. Yeah. Hold on, let me get some to the edge here. Let me get some garlic to the edge here. Now dip it up, dip it up, dip the garlic in there. Ask him, throw a little bit more garlic. That's it, thank you. Hold this for me. Work this one before you can do it. So, show the pan. So, while I'm making the spaghetti, you can back up on me, get me and the pan if you can. When I'm making the spaghetti, we got the garlic in here, so I'm just add some garlic. Garlic and everything just makes it, you know, kick a little bit. Now, see, the thing is, since we ghetto, so using regular noodles, we use the ramen noodles. We use one ramen packet just to spice the meat. Now, say I use one bratwurst. Here's the bratwurst. Now watch this when I do it with the bratwurst. I'm actually breaking the bratwurst down and putting the meat in the water that it already had boiling. Now while this right here is cooking, this is going to add something different to this. Because you know, this is all good. You chopped in, it's, it's a different feel. You eat that bratwurst skin, you think you got a treat. <laughs> That'll cook real quick. Since I talked to you wrong with me, this is good. You got to try to get the hot water on your hands. Wash your hands just enough. So then you get some soap. So you wash your hands some more. But you really don't want to be touching your stuff without soap on your hand. Because, you know, it's bad after you get them. Okay? Ah, thank goodness. Now, let's go back and check our concoction. This is almost done. Ground beef is completely finished. The noodles are perfect. I could have used two more packs, maybe, maybe one more pack in there. At 23 cents a, a, a top ramen, or 10 for a dollar. A dollar depends on where you go. It depends on how much you got and what you can do with it. Come on, come on, huh, sweetheart? Huh? 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 So. I'm going to in there barking. He needs to go. So. Wow! Hot! Ghetto! Lift the camera. Ghetto! Hot water. Now, we got to get the rest of these noodles and the bratwurst out the bottom. You see the brats is already cooked up. It's all white and good. And you chop it up and then mix it with the other one. You like a little treat and you get a different flavor. Get your palate. Now see, since it's super ghetto, you can't really strain it too much. You don't want to strain it over the top of our food. You got to back it up, back it up. You do that with it. Bring it over here. Pull it in there just like that. I am definitely missing my onions here in this spaghetto. Now, it's still cooking, the noodles and all that good stuff down there, the ground beef that's been seasoned and all that good stuff. Oh, garbage, don't ever leave trash over there. Always use your garbage can. Go on back in and mix the bratwurst in there. Only use one bratwurst. Now, all the noodles have been cooked. Everything is cooked down. I'm missing my onions. I told you, onions are kicking on it. And here's the kicker right here. Watch that. Now, here it goes. The play go. Now, a lot of people put this on the side. I pour it right in there. For about maybe a third of the jar. You might want to make spaghetti again next week. Bam. Now, 
in here, you always got to have your crystals, your Tabasco, cheap ass original wing sauce shit. But we're not going to go with that. We're going to go with the pizza parlor peppers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven little pepper shots in there. Bam. Ghetto. Shit hits the flow. Go ahead and take your crystals. Pow, pow, pow. Two flashes of crystals. Take your tongs and you mix it all in. This is what you do, you mix it all in. Look at that. Look at that. And remember, camera please, I told you one piece of cheese. One piece. Craft American singles. One single piece of cheese is all you need. A lot of people don't eat cheese, but that's this. Cheese, boom, breaks this off. Now see, when you're mixing it all in there, that, right there, you see that shit there? That. That's a good spaghetto. Look at that. Yeah, yeah. Woo hoo! Hot! Mm. If you're super ghetto, if you're real super ghetto, you don't even let it cool down. Take a pot. The pot where you got your water boiling. Throw a couple hot dogs in that if you got them. Get you a little thing in there. Yeah, man. One more of those there. You got some bread. You're good to go. Spaghetti. Oh, wait a minute. You gotta let people see me eat. A broken drawer. Gotta be super ghetto. Oh, there's a fork right there. <laughs> yeah. telling you. You can't buy nothing that's tasty. A lot of people look at that meat. Like I said, we could have put a bell pepper in a bell, a, bell, a bell pepper in Could have put an onion in it. We could have put a million things in here. 95 degrees outside. No one wants to cook. It's hot. You want a hot meal. Why? I don't know. You're broke. You have no money. You're not rich. And what do you got? You scrape up some stuff out of the refrigerator. You got the greatest spaghetto that you'll ever have. Thank you. See you later. That's the first episode of Ghetto Chef.